If you ever take a stroll down the sidewalk with Dr. Joshua Mealy, who has been blind most of his life, don't worry that he'll slow you down. If anything, he's likely to leave you behind. I'm going to plug in my earphones since we're on the street. But there's one here. thing Dr. Mealy won't leave behind, in addition to his cane, and that's his iPhone. So we've got to wait 11 minutes for the three jacks, and that's too bad. With its ability to read aloud text and use GPS for pinpoint accurate location readouts, a single smartphone can replace a gaggle of gizmos that blind people have carried and often cursed for years. The joke goes like this. How many blind people does it take to cross a street? And the answer is, tongue in cheek, two. It takes one to push the shopping cart full of equipment that doesn't work, and it takes one to ask a sighted person for help. There are many, many tools that have been developed to help blind people with independent mobility. But if you wanted to carry all of them, you need a backpack or, as in the joke, a shopping cart. One of the really cool things that the iPhone and other smartphones is doing is rolling a bunch of technologies into one platform. And it doesn't take much coaxing to get Dr. Mealy to demonstrate this platform's potential. There are two different ways that you can navigate around items using uh, the iPhone. You can either touch the item on the screen, Quake Watch, Quake watch settings. settings, I'm just moving my finger along the icons, and as I touch each app icon, it says what it is. GPS. Compass. So that's one way to navigate around the screen. The other way to navigate around is, um, rather than feeling around on the screen, if you just want to go to the previous and next items, you just swipe uh, left for previous or swipe right for next. So if I swipe to the right. ITunes. Clock. And it jumps to the next line. App Store. Weather. Voice memo. So, or I can go backwards. Page one of three. Oops. Dropbox. Quick watch. Settings. I'm at you. Voice memos. Weather. Once it says an item, it's selected. So, if, for example, I touch. GP now that it's set, it it's selected. So I can double tap anywhere on the screen to open that app up. This is a really powerful tool for a blind person. If you get disoriented um, when you're trying to get from one place to another, or if you get turned around in an open area like a parking lot or a park, uh, the fact that the same device will give you GPS information and uh, real-time transit information. Mobile computing is really helping blind people in some significant ways. 137 degrees southeast. At the Smith Kettlewell Eye Research Institute in San Francisco, Dr. Mealy works to develop new ways to help blind people perceive and explore their world. I'll show you one of the things I'm working on right now. This is a set of accessible um, BART station maps. That's the center um, that marks the center of the train. So um, a blind person would be able to plan their travel through a BART station, knowing where the stairs and benches would be. So Here, he relies on a number of PC-based technologies, right such as screen reading software that gives voice to text, and an expensive electromechanical braille display pad. To make this a full screen display, which would be obviously what you'd really want, would be just ridiculously expensive. You do the selection. But showing off what his and, iPhone uh, can do seems to lift and, him to another uh, level of enthusiasm. Text field. So I'm going to tap in the text field, and it brings up the on-screen keyboard. And now, it's since I know the basic layout of a QWERTY keyboard, I can just feel around on the keyboard, and it tells me what I'm touching. But it doesn't enter the, um, the letter until I tap with a second finger. So I'll feel around. I can start typing. I can say, capital H. Hi. Hi. And I'll Exclamation. Two years ago, I would have had to carry not only a cell phone, but also uh, an accessible compass, and also a, an accessible note taker, and also something to keep a calendar on, and also um, a Bluetooth or USB GPS unit. Now, I've got pretty much all of that functionality in a single platform that goes in my hip pocket. That is a significant change. And no, there's no way. You know, I won't go back to the shopping cart. I, I, I'm very happy um, having to carry fewer pieces of equipment that don't work.